Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a collective reading because today it's the full moon in Sagittarius. So because this is a collective reading, I'm doing it with my big combined deck of um, tarot cards and astrological oracle cards. So you'll see both of them here. In fact, we are beginning with a card from the astrological oracle, and it feels like this big blast of information of... Um, just like the veil opening up. It's like the stars are communicating. Actually, it's one star in particular because it's serious. So, and it's interesting just like hearing me say this out loud, right? It feels like it's a pretty big deal, right? As in like, it's serious. That serious is here opening up this collective reading. Um, and since it is a, a full moon in Sagittarius, Sagittarius just uh, throws us, you know, out in the open to the unknown to explore and just um, like see what this unknown is or what it has in store for us. And it feels like for the collective is like, you know, this unknown is like the realm of the stars, specifically Sirius, which feels like this one star that is ready to open conversation open a communication because i'm seeing this as like opening the screen or um it's like uh we've been scratching the surface of this veil but now sirius is here like creating this big explosion this big blast and saying like okay let me help you i want to communicate also it's like it's this channel being open with sirius right and so the reason why Sirius is here and the reason why it's also this open communication it's because we are individually ready and grounded and sovereign and mature enough in this human body from this earthly perspective because it's the king of pentacles and it's almost like now we're ready right this is the sense that i'm having from this king of pentacles it's like the stars are ready to communicate with us humans right this um human collective because we have or maybe the maturity uh the majority of us have reached maturity in terms of um like understanding the significance of this the value of this earthly realm or you know being a human here in this moment in time and how this communication can occur right it's like serious can be visible can be now perceivable by us humans by you know individuals that have reached this sovereignty or this maturity from the physical from the 3d from the consciousness of being human right and so it's not that we are only grounded on earth or that we are only uh practical beings or that we have learned to thrive instead of just survive but we are open for this communication because another king is coming through the king of swords so these two kings are actually the same entity it's like they are symbolizing each individual here right in this collective so it's like the it's like reaching this level of excellence in the human perspective right in this earthly realm but also in the spiritual because you know this king of swords today even though it can be very mental or it can be very intellectual today it's coming through as very spiritual it's almost like your mind right it's like the minds of certain individuals you know certainly you who is listening to this message it's like you have reached this level of um uh it's like expertise or uh development that your mind is now bowing to your spirit right it's like your mind is in service or is um it's like it's working for the highest good of your spirit so that's the reason why the sword here is not necessarily the mind per se it's more the spirit itself just becoming more prominent right but as well as the body so the body and the mind or the body and the spirit are in tune are both very well developed they are in tune and that's the reason why like such a big entity such a big star such a big communication can happen from the stars to 
our human collective to you know specific individuals who have reached this level which is fascinating also because you know not to be um um too intense or too dramatic or too um uh, exaggerated i do feel like maybe for some individuals here that are ready for this and maybe wanting this there is a little bit of this and maybe for a lack of better words i'm going to use it because it's what i'm hearing there is a little bit of this preparation for an abduction experience or sort of like that right however you want to understand abduction as it doesn't feel negative it doesn't feel um uh obscure or mischievous or uh it's nothing like that it actually feels like serious is here right with that serious message also right it's something serious so it requires responsible beings to accept that to agree with that to open the channel right it's like the door doesn't open or the veil doesn't open just because Sirius has the power for it right or it would have um the power right these beings these star beings would have the power to show themselves to us it's because we are ready individually and collectively because our bodies and minds are ready to receive this it's almost like this presence this visitation this um this insight this download however you want to see this encounter with serious it is serious right so it's something that it's not to be taken lightly it's it's not whatsoever it, it is very um it's like this high level conversation that is happening because we have attuned ourselves and because we are grounded it's like once again the four of pentacles coming after the king of swords so yes, there is this very high level development of the spirit, but most of all, because these two pentacle cards are bracketing the spirit, right? It's like we are grounded, right? Our minds, you know, are very, very uh, aware, are very, very conscious, are willing to say yes to this opening. And it is kind of like a, a big it feels very it feels like this explosion in the center right that creates like kind of like this um what it's coming to mind it's almost like that moment in the movie the truman show where the the character of jim carrey realizes that he is living in a fake scenario right a fake city and it's almost like he he touches the wall and it's like you know it, it's not the sky basically right it feels like very mind-blowing very mind-boggling right it, it's almost like you know truman the, the the character in the movie it's like he cannot fathom because it's been his reality his entire life right so it is very mind-boggling but in this case i want to say it's not because despite this big explosion we are grounded right as very conscious beings human beings we are aware of our body limitations of um it's like the the um, it's like the requirements of the body like how how health is going to be impacted by this or how like our body structure our cells in the body are it's like how how this experience how this interaction is going to affect the body right but the four of pentacles is talking about being grounded it's the foundation right so yes we are it's almost like the first reaction is to say you know once the syrians appear it's like yes i'm ready i'm grounded and then the mind says you know i bow to the spirit and then the four of pentacles says like i'm really really grounded right it's like wherever you take me because this is what's coming next um you know i know that i'm going to have this safe harbor i'll know the way back to my own body i'll, I'll know like the path back to security back to the earth back to like a grounded state you know what i mean so it's very intense but you seem to be you know the collective seem to be very very prepared for this and so the next three cards they are showing kind of like the the um, not exactly the meeting but it's almost like the setting 
or the 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 atmosphere or it's like how uh the conditions have to be um in a certain way for this opening of the veil for this appearance of the syrians or the communication to happen right and i want to say it happens at night so the moon card was just uh, setting the tone of this nighttime type of environment where things are more quiet um there's not much uh dynamic going on at least not that we can perceive right it's almost like everybody's asleep everything is quiet it's it's very gentle it's a very gentle energy right because i want to say that if this is coming through as an explosion right if this is coming through as a big blast right it's like it's almost like the the light of the star right this um starlight is going to be brightest at night right so it requires this nighttime atmosphere this environment that is it's almost like it's being bathed by this moonlight and it's fascinating because we are you know today is the full moon so and maybe that's the thing it's like maybe it is you know this big event of the full moon right it's like the full moon is like the brightest light in the night sky when it's you know shining so brightly because of the reflection of the sun but in this case because it's the star i'm inclined to say and maybe that's the reason why it's the preparation right i don't feel like it this is happening tonight for instance it's not something that is happening under the full moon maybe it requires like this complete dark night sky so maybe during the new moon right where the stars are more visible because the moon is not going to um what is the word off obfuscate off obfuscate i don't know if that's the right word it's like it's not going to um steal the shine right or uh you know the brightness because yes sirius is the brightest star so you know independently of the moon right being full or new it is still going to be seen but i want to say that it's almost like it's going to be even brighter right it's almost like seeing a cosmic explosion like in front of your eyes but maybe this is all like this very etheric type of symbol right that you know and if we're talking about a night time right occurrence or happening or event maybe this is kind of like this image of an explosion but happening in your dreams right or when you are asleep right just like everybody else where things are quiet but you perceive this star explosion this opening of the veil this communication of Sirius so there is guidance coming through right and it's interesting because I'm not seeing the guidance yet right I'm just seeing the approach so maybe this entire reading today is just preparation right because it's like there are two cards that represent that grounding energy right apart from you know the the spirit also being ready and being honored by the mind being acknowledged right it's like the mind is acknowledging the it's like the power of the spirit and how the body right our physical structure this vessel is helping all of this to happen right it's like it's it's anchoring down it's um just helping us to feel settled and grounded so this bottom three uh cards they are it's almost like they are characterizing the perfect scenario where this event is going to happen or where this communication is going to happen so during the night right and it's beautiful because um when i saw this night theme with the moon um i heard the the words night show so the impression that I had was almost like going to like a, a like a movie theater and it's like the screen is ripped apart. It's almost like, you know, the the I think it's the Looney Tunes. I I'm not sure, but uh there is like this um uh what is the word? Like this old um show, this old uh I can't remember what the name is, but 
anyways, it's like it ends with the characters like breaking the screen, right? It's all like just a drawing or just a, a picture, right? It's not, it's just an image. It's not actually happening. But, you know, the characters come out of the screen, right? It's like they are showing themselves, but in a different way. It's like they are presenting themselves. They are, you know, connecting with the audience, if that makes sense. So it's something like that. Right. It's like so a night show or, you know, maybe watching a movie at night and then suddenly there is this huge epiphany. Right. That's like this blast of information from the stars. Right. From Sirius specifically. And so when this night event occurs. The hangman is talking about the rope. Right. I can't remember exactly what the reading uh, was that this hangman showed up. I think it was. Was it in Sagittarius yesterday? I think it was, perhaps. Um, but it was talking about revisiting like this, um, like this dark hole, right? Or a memory that was um, very uncomfortable, right? It's like dark feelings. Um, but knowing that um, perhaps it was Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius could uh, go back there, right? But without staying there, without without staying stuck, because you know, there was divine help, there was um, this assistance coming from these higher realms. And today for the collective, well, since it is the full moon in Sagittarius, it feels like it's almost like it's amping up because it's like, you know, um, the entity or the consciousness or the beings that are giving the assistance, they are showing themselves, they are saying yes, I'm the one who extended a hand. I'm the one who, you know, threw the rope or I'm the one who is now giving the chance, giving the opportunity for you to come with us. I want to say that this, this is sort of like the, um, the abduction scenario that I was seeing. But as I'm saying this, you know, I'm feeling a lot of resistance, maybe because of all of the things that I've heard myself about abductions, right? You know, creepy stories and things that weren't that pleasant. And, you know, uh, maybe there was no consent, for instance. And in this case, I want to say, because of all the groundedness, because of this, you know, um, confirmation upon confirmation, right? The, the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and then the Four of Pentacles, it's almost like you know, three approvals or three yeses or three confirmations from our part that we are ready to go in this trip, right? Because it feels like, it's almost like, uh, you know, Sirius inviting us for this magic carpet ride through the universe, through the cosmos, through the stars, through the constellation that they are coming from, right? Maybe they want to show us around, but it's almost like whatever is coming next, it's almost like it's out of view, it's not, it's not um, readily available. It's not being made known. And it's not supposed to because it's almost like they don't want to scare you or us, right? Actually, what they want is to surround us with love. And this is the beautiful thing. So yes, they are inviting us to go with them, I want to say, right? It's almost like we have waited for this. Now I'm hearing from the hangman. It's like we've been waiting for this for this pool, for this invitation, for, um, you know, this communication, right? But the Seven of Cups ending this part of the reading is talking about, it's like, it's not just one being, it feels like it's almost like this group, or it's like, it's a collective, right, of beings that are your love. It's like, they just want to embrace us, or they just want to uh, make us know that their intentions are based on love. It's like they're doing this because they love humanity, right? It's like it's like they just want to surround us and just um, embrace us with a lot of love. So yes, there is a big blast that could scare us away, but because of these, you know, uh, continuous confirmations that we are grounded for this, you know, maybe this reading is this preparation, right, for us to feel like we are grounded. And as soon as we receive this, um, it's almost like this, um, I'm hearing like first apparition. I don't even know if that's the right word. Apparition? I don't know. Anyways, um, it's like the reveal, right, of this, um, this serious, right, how serious is communicating and breaking through the veil and reaching out 
through the veil to us, it it feels well, it could be seen in a very dramatic way as rescue, but it's not, right? It's almost like this magic carpet, right? It, it's not a rescue. It's not, um, it's not an abduction. That's the thing. It's not an abduction the way that it's been sold to us that abductions are, right? It's like, it's an invitation of love. The intention is of love. And I want to say that with the bottom of the deck being this um, page of swords, there is a little bit of this shrinking feeling, not shrinking as in like confidence or trust or anything like that. But the moment that they surround us, or maybe, you know, this is a very particular individual experience. It's like, it's so much love. It's like this wave of love. That it's almost like our spirit feels tiny, right? It's like the amount of love that they carry, that they vibrate in. It's like, it's such a high frequency that we're going to feel tiny, right? But as I'm saying this, it's almost like that's good because it's almost like you you become less resistant. You become very light. It's like you become light as air, right? It's like you can travel. It's like your spirit. It's like feeling all of this you know, immense energy. It's like, it makes you feel humble. It makes you feel innocent. It makes you feel so ready and eager to learn from these higher dimensional beings, right? It's almost like your spirit is hungry for more because if we felt like we were ready, right? Reaching this level of maturity, it's almost like beside them or surrounded by them. It's like, we just understand that there's so much more to learn, right? So I am going to pull more cards uh, to see where this very, very interesting and intriguing reading wants us to go. Um, and also I'm going to pull from the astrological runes in the extended reading. So if you want to join me there, I'll be very happy to see you. You can find the link down below. If not, see you next time. Bye.